Before that one small step. Before the eagle landed. Before Apollo headed to the moon. A 363 foot, six and a half million pound vehicle had to leave the surface of the earth. And powering that vehicle were five F-1 rocket engines that began their life at the Air Force Rocket Labs in California. It was a very, very large engine and it needed to accomplish a very difficult task. So the, the engine became more prone to that combustion stability. This is when the energy that is being combusted inside of this chamber creates a runaway effect where the, uh, the energy cannot be contained. Unfortunately, at the time, there wasn't much computer modeling and there wasn't much even just understanding of the physics going on, the combustion mechanics, etc. It was an educated guess to figure out different designs and try them out. Some of the baffle designs became uh, uh, very complex and, uh, and as it turned out, the, the baffle design that they settled on uh, they didn't have to have uh, such complexity after all. Um, but it, it was a bit of a trial and error actually, uh, just to find the solution that work. Construction began on five different uh, F1 test stands uh, on the ridge out here. So in case one blew up, uh, they could run it right, right off the bat tomorrow, uh, try to try a fix and not lose schedule. There, in those days, people were t uh, testing here 24-7 uh, uh, practically. Basically, as, as soon as you built a, a specific component called an injector out in the machine shop, it was taken out to the test stand and, and run, and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't, and right every single day a new design was coming in. You know, every, every configuration and permutation that you could imagine um, uh, was tried. They were able to find uh, a design that worked. That uh, then transferred over to the flight engines, the F1s uh, themselves, which were uh, tested out here in their full flight configuration. Uh, the injector design uh, are common in many uh, other types of engines that we still use today. Um, those type of injector designs have been improved upon, of course, but at their core, they're still the same uh, designs. The Air Force Research Laboratory has continued to unveil groundbreaking rocket technology, such as the affordable responsive modular rocket, advanced spacecraft energetic non-toxic fuel, the rapid energetics and advanced rocket manufacturing project, and the rotating detonation rocket engine. With the constantly updated and very capable test stands and chambers, AFRL is positioned to support the United States' continued dominance in space.